Hey guys, for you, let you know that just a few days ago I've heard that Apple has released uh, the new iOS 5.1.1. I'm kind of sure what kind of updates we're gonna get to it, but let's just go ahead and do a quick little over the air update by just going to program update and it should be able to download everything and install it. I don't actually think that the updates are kind of big actually compared to earlier versions basically. Let's see, uh, I was weapon one, okay, details, let's see, read more, okay, this is an update for, let's see, uh, better for the HDR, uh, you can access it when you have the lock screen, you can access the HDR mode, basically, you can go ahead and uh, if you have the iPad, you can change between 2G and 3G. Some AirPlay updates. And some small Safari updates. And some bug fixes. Um, not extremely many updates, but let's go ahead and update to it. Install now. Approve. Verify the update. Do a quick little size comparison here. My main phone is a massive. I think it's kind of fun to compare my my screen on that device. Um, I think I may do a quick little comparison video. Uh, compare the new iOS 5.1.1 versus the latest Android 4.0 for the Galaxy Note, which is my main device. It was actually quite a while ago I even used um, Apple's iPhone, I mean even turn it off, turn it on, you know. Um, should do its update over here. And uh, as you do know, iOS is, uh, I, the theme in iOS is mostly blue and that c could many times screw up my camera because uh, too much blue color that could screw up the white balance. That's one thing also that sucks. Uh, small little thing there uh, when I record videos. Because I, I never get those issues when I use my, one of my other devices, you know. Uh, we're just gonna wait here uh, until it's gonna do its uh, update and everything. So this is the new awesome cool little update over here that you can just go ahead and swipe to remove also in the new Android. It's awesome. Seems to, I'm sure it, does it uh, reinstall everything? I mean, the iOS 5.1.1 update didn't seem to be that of a huge update, but it seems like it takes some time over here, I mean, to just update those small little things, you know? It seems like it's like reinstalling everything. Um, you know, I'm quite sure about the jailbreak update uh, on iOS 5.1.1. Don't think that we're gonna see some untethered. I think that they're waiting for like iOS 5.3 or something. As you do know, I've been, I've been mainly focusing on on Android lately, just because I think it's it's just more interesting. It's it's happening more. There are more smartphones about it and everything. And uh, my channel has been uh, starting to become more and more about smartphones, you know. And boy, this takes some time. Come on, boy. The reason why I'm not gonna cut this video out is is because I wanna I wanna show for you people how long time it's gonna take to do the update and everything. I have no idea. And I'm going from like I was 5.1 to I was 5.1.1. So I mean, it's a very small update, but it seems to be taking a very long time. Even though I do appreciate a lot that Apple finally, and I think in iOS 5, 
uh, made a thing so you can do over the air updates basically that's uh, quite awesome even though I still don't think in iOS that you can go ahead and uh, on your computer you send apps to your smartphone and install them wirelessly I don't think you can do that at the moment it's something that I use a lot on my device so finishing up here Seems like it did take a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes to do the update. Maybe the update was really big. I mean, I saw only small updates, but maybe it was a huge update. Okay, it's booting up. What? Again? You trolling? Come on. Do you need to do this? Okay, come on. Maybe it's like right now installing it or something. Maybe? Yes? Yes? Okay, there we go. Um, we are up and running again. So Ah, uh, some lag. I hate that lag. I guess that's a lot in iOS. Um, I also get it on the new iPad 3. Sometimes when you haven't used the phone for a while, every time when you go over here, you get that lag. And the first time you do it, when you haven't used the phone for a while. That's something that is very annoying, okay? I fucking hate it. Uh, let's just go ahead and go to settings here. I think I'm going to do a comparison video comparing my Galaxy Note latest update versus um, the new iOS over here. Program updates. Ah, uh, okay, so we aren't connected. Okay, I was 5.1.1, awesome. So I think I'm gonna do a comparison video, I'm gonna compare a lot of things. Uh, do a comparing uh, the latest Android versus the latest iOS. Uh, that could be fun. <laughs> Yes, have a good day everyone. And okay, so do a quick little comparison here as well. Um, okay, now we need to zoom out a little bit. So we have my, here in iOS of course we only have the apps. Can't add widgets or anything, we don't have an app drawer. We just have those apps already. It's very simple, we have the settings over here, we need to open up our settings app basically we're here to access that area wait a sec if you go to about yes here we got all of the things about phone this phone is freaking big okay I know that but I use it a lot so I think we're gonna do some comparison videos latest iOS versus latest Android that could be some fun have a good day. Bye-bye.